Good afternoon, everybody. Oh, gosh, good morning. It's it's pretty early where I am. Uh, I didn't get like a the best sleep last night, but you know, there's always nights like those. So I figured, hey, what a great way to turn this day around and <laughs> make you guys a really technical video while I'm tired. And you might be thinking, oh, great, he's gonna teach us while he's tired. That's gonna be educational and informative. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, sometimes the more annoying subjects are more easily explained when you're tired. At least that's my logic here. So I wanted to cover a very quick video, and I do hope it's quick, on the essential basics of Simlink and Hardlink. And so we have a Simlink file and a Hardlink file. There's this, this concept that is a little kind of foreign to understand. So if we take a look in Deepin Linux, they define how to create a symlink and really what, what a link is. So they're both types of links, right? And so there are two concepts of the link. There's a symlink and there's a hard link. It's very simple, guys. A symlink is a shortcut. You know how you create shortcuts on Windows desktop to like programs, right? When you delete the shortcut, you're not deleting the program, right? That's a symlink. Symlink is literally just shortcuts to files. And if you move the, f the data that the files are behind, so let's say in this example, right? This is the heart of where the data is these are the programs right so let's say this this program is whatever <laughs> this this is a battery program if you were to take the location of this battery program in debian okay and you were to just like shut move it to another directory the sim link the sim link here so if you follow this kind of path to a sim link from the battery the, the sim link would go where the hell did the file go <laughs> and it would break so the sim link would still be there. It's still going to show up, but the, the problem becomes is it's, it's a broken file. It's not really accessible by anything. It's not really utilized by anything. So one great example of this would be cross seed. And if you haven't yet watched the cross seed video, you might want to watch that. But a good example of it is that if you create there's two modes that Crossseed runs under, right? Sim two types of links that Crossseed can create. It can create sim links for your cross seeds or hard links. So if you create sim links, right, and you were to delete the original file, the original torrent that you first downloaded, let's say I download a, a movie, right? Movie torrent alpha right this is movie torrent alpha and let's assume movie torrent beta is a cross seed let's assume this is the cross seed so so if you were to do a sim link from a to b with a cross seed the minute you decide i don't want to see torrent a torrent b is gone it will give an error and it because it won't find the file It'll be like where'd the file go because you deleted the source so it's just a shortcut right and it's essentially a shortcut that has no control over what happens when a source torrent deletes the source data now in the instance of a hard link a hard link actually can prevent that source data from being deleted even if the source torrent is deleted let's say i move this one around so let's see, see the path of this one. It goes through the heart to the hard link. So if I were to move this around, the, the hard link will always find it. So the hard link will always, always find it. It can always find this file. Doesn't matter where I move it, pretend if I was moving this and you know, if I could show it, imagine that when you're moving this, icon the red is also moving along with it imagine it's like a string and this the reason being is hard links are not they're a kind of shortcut 
but they're a more interesting shortcut than a shortcut. <laughs> so, probably like, what? A hard link is a shortcut in the sense that it refers to the actual data on the drive. And you might be even more confused because you're like, wait a minute, don't shortcuts always refer to the data on the drives? Just think of it this way. Movie Torrent A is what created the data, right? And anything that creates a sim link or a shortcut to that data that it itself did not create, then nothing's stopping you from deleting the data on the hard drive by removing and deleting the data with Movie Torrent A. Whereas a hard link is a type of shortcut that gets created to that data that Movie Torrent A initially created. But if you were to delete Movie Torrent A, hard links prevent that data from being removed from the hard drive. It's more powerful in a way. So let's go to this example here. That this it may make more sense. So if we were to delete Movie Torrent A in cross seed, right? And our links for Movie Torrent B was a hard link. The minute we delete that source, Movie Torrent A, right? It wouldn't be deleted. The cross seed would not error out. Think about that for a second. In a sim link, when we delete Movie Torrent A, Movie Torrent B errors out. But if we delete Movie Torrent A with a hard link, a hard link inside of movie torrent B, right? Because it creates a separate file for that. If we delete the source torrent, then movie torrent B does not error out. Well, how does that work? The hard link is referencing the, the core data. In this case, imagine this, this blue icon lives in inside of the core uh, it's called the disk space and that's where your actual files data lives so if you use hard links if you delete one hard link it doesn't remove that data from the disk space they're like clones okay and the clone yes while the clone references just like a sim link data on the disk share the difference is is that the difference between these two is that a sim link does not create a hard link to the, the the path on the hard disk. So if you were to delete movie torrent A, which would say, okay, I want to delete the original file here. In this case, this battery file, I want to delete it. Movie torrent B is not a clone, right? It when in Debian, when you create a hard link or a clone, if you if you have a source torrent and you were to say let's delete this file it will not delete it because it will say well hold on now there is a hard link connected to that file so i cannot just remove it from the hard drive i think that's like the quickest and the best way to explain it is again what you think might <laughs> remove things won't remove it so one example was definitely cross seed the other example was unpacker right something that takes out i'm thinking uh an example of what yeah so unpacker you know how it unpacks a file right let's so unpacker let's open let's just open a new sort of picture here so remember there's a program called unpacker that we covered in the two hour video and we're just gonna you know it's fine we'll cre oh jeebus okay we're gonna create that and so in the unpacker video recall that it's for unrawing stuff right so unpacker detects rars right and it removes all the files from the rar so let's imagine that let's just pretend this is the unpacked file okay so when it removes this, radar and sonar create a hard link to the file. So the first th misconception I had was, and I didn't realize it was creating a, a link or, a, you know, because I kept, I kept thinking it's a link, right? I can't, I can't delete this file. I can't delete this yellow block or 
radar and sonar would error and the video wouldn't work. And no, because the minute this file got extracted, it it creates essentially the, the core data of this file inside of the Debian Linux or inside of Linux's hard drive, okay? It creates the core of that file in the hard drive. So this file is essentially not even the, it's not the original data. The original data is on the disk share. This is the user share. So in user share, everything is pretty much either well, essentially it's, it's, it's a hard link. Everything is a hard link. So it means that this is referencing, this is referencing. So in the, this is essentially referencing a file inside of a protected, that key icon inside of a protected hard drive. We can't really, you know, we, we can't really worry about deleting this file if radar and sonar create a hard link that so what that means is again remember if there's a hard link to a file on the disk structure on the disk share then deleting another file that was the source of that data does not remove the data from the disk share so imagine this is the radar this is the unpacked file right so imagine that was the unpacked file right there and then let's pretend the radar one is green is oh come on is green okay now this is the radar hard link and essentially this sort of white block is your disk share that has the actual data so yes if radar did not create a hard link and you were to delete the brown one right here if you were to delete this brown one then yes the same data would be gone permanently and you would see free space but because there is a hard link with radar the minute i delete it from here from this data structure if i wanted to Right, because what's the point? I don't need that extracted file to make, remember this, the seed or the torrent is only looking at those files. So why would I want that file there cluttering it up? Basically, it's not for space. You could delete it for just visuals because I just don't want to see that file, right? That got extracted. So because radar is still there with a hard link and we're going to go back to that red maroon icon, it it cannot remove that that file because something is is holding on to it dude does that make sense that's a hard link hard links you know they they don't let go easy they're hard you know they're hard to break up with let's put it that way yes that's great that's a good example they're hard to break up with they're hard links so they don't they're like not so fast <laughs> it's like that sidefold episode where george is trying to break up with with that girl she's like no no, just no. That's a hard link. Whereas a sim link is very easy to break because it 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 is it's not it's just a shortcut. And if there's one so let's look at the same example with a sim link, okay? Let's pretend that instead of a hard link, this radar one was a sim link, okay? If it this radar one was a sim link. Yeah, that's that's a good way. Let's let's describe this another way. So if this is a sim link now in blue and remember, sim links don't have that red tether, then this hard drive, it's seeing this as the source of that data. So, yes, if you were to let's pretend that this is kind of I'm going to draw this as kind of remember, sim links are shortcuts, so I'm not drawing a solid line. It's a shortcut. But just know that this shortcut shouldn't be pointed to the white block, but instead imagine if it was pointed to that yellow block here and I'll redraw the line in a different color, but yellow file is the one that was extracted and creates the actual data on the white block hard drive that a hard link refers to. And the sim link refers to the file that makes that data on the white hard drive, the yellow icon. It's not linked to the white icon, which symbolizes the data on the disk. 
or the disk share, it's linked to that file. So if that file is what this white icon is seeing as its only source of data, the minute you remove that, you remove the white block of that data, of that file's data, and then the sim link, of course, you broke the link. So the sim link is like, what the heck? Where'd the file go? And it breaks. That's, that's, this is probably the most important in terms of cross seed, in terms of, you know, perhaps why things might break in a cross seed, right? If you want to remove, or if you want to, let's say you, the, the torrent file is no longer on the tracker, right? So you have a torrent that's like unregistered torrent. Do you want to keep that torrent on your client forever? No, you'll probably want to delete it and then keep the other ones that it is on their web, on their tracker. You want to keep it seeding for that. So how do you, how do you delete that original source for those cross seeds without removing its data? And, and the, the key, the key is hard link mode. I, I believe in the cross seeds, at one point they recommended sim links. And when I, you know, was making my video and consulting with the dev on that, they did remove that recommendation. So the rec while they don't push for one thing or the other, my recommendation is always go with the hard link just cause you don't want to track <laughs> which ones have broken, you know, I mean, yes, while the cross seed ones have a tag, so you know, they're not the source. It, it, could you imagine doing that in like a really big list? I mean, I don't know. It's, it's going to be, you could technically search the file, the torrent name and, and do it that way. I'm not saying you can't, you can do either or it's just, I just think hard links will just, I don't know. It's my style. Anyways, I hope this video explained it. This is probably my shortest video. I, I, I believe it is. It is my shortest. I'm looking at the time. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'm sure I can answer it for you. Take care, guys. And oh, hey, by the way, while I have you, make sure that you come back for a really, really big video I'm doing. It's on Plex Meta Manager. And though I call it Plex Meta Manager, it's a three, almost three hour video on that. So if you are messing with Plex Meta Manager right now, I, I'd urge you to kind of pause your all that stuff and come back to me. Take care guys. See you on the next one.